my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing a part two of trying clothes from underhyped brands. So this year, I have been trying to expand my clothing horizons a little bit, if you will, and shop from more small independent brands, more size inclusive brands, more sustainable and ethical brands, and more brands owned by people of color. Like there are so many amazing clothing brands out there that I miss out on because I just get stuck in my comfort zone and buy from the same three or four big companies. So over the summer, I did a video where I tried some clothes from brands like that that check at least a few of those boxes for what I look for in a clothing brand. And it was so much fun. I, I got some really amazing pieces and it just opened my eyes to some incredible companies that I had never heard of before. So today we are bringing it back. We are doing a part too. So I read through the comments on that video of your recommendations for brands that you think deserve more hype. And I also asked you guys the same question on Instagram. I went through those answers. And in the end, I chose five brands. So I placed an order with each of them. So I'll tell you what the brand is all about. I'll try on the clothes. And as always, I'll give you my honest thoughts. And hopefully we can bring these brands a little bit more of that hype that they deserve. Also, exciting news, over on the vlog channel, Sierra and Steven IRL, we we just started Vlogmas. So we are posting new vlogs over on that channel every single day leading up to Christmas. So if you wanna be part of that and see more behind the scenes stuff, more pregnancy and personal life stuff, link for that channel and today's Vlogmas is in the description. All right, so let's get right in to the first brand. Our first brand is one I'm really excited about. It's called Mean Studios and they really seem like pretty much just everything that I want in a brand. So on their website, Mean says that their ethos is to use the best fabrics and local craftsmanship, design for our ever-changing bodies and lives, offer easy care pre-shrunk garments that can be machine washed and dried, and be eco-conscious every step of the way from production to packaging. Also, it gets better. They offer sizes extra small to 3X and all their clothes are designed to be worn before, during, and after pregnancy. Like how cool is that? Especially being like 14 weeks pregnant, I haven't bought any maternity clothes yet. Yet. But also I'm getting to the point where my pre-pregnancy clothes aren't all cutting it anymore. And I just think that's really cool that it's designed for all those different seasons of life and motherhood. And as soon as I read that, I was like, I, I wanna try this brand. And they're also really focused on ethicality and sustainability in their production. They focus on using premium eco-friendly fabrics and they only work with family-owned factories that provide their workers with fair wages and clean, safe working conditions with regular breaks. And they're woman-founded and woman owned by the designer, Lisa Shea, who actually started the company when she was pregnant. I read a little bit about her story on the website. It's really cool. Basically, she was frustrated with the lack of good clothing she could find to wear during pregnancy and beyond. And she had like 10 years of experience already in the apparel industry. So she used that experience and her frustration to create this low maintenance, easy wear line that just looks super, super cool. So I ordered two pieces. I got the cozy fleece sweatshirt in turmeric in a 1XL and it was $88. And the lakeside wide leg jumpsuit in dark moss, also in a 1XL and that one was $98. So I've got the package. Let's go ahead and try on these clothes and see what the actual clothing is like. We know the business side seems cool. Now to actually try them on. Here we go. Oh, this is comfy. This is real comfy and it has pockets. <laughs> so there are some things I really, really love about this jumpsuit and things that make it just a little bit off from perfect for me. So I'll start with the good stuff. First of all, this fabric, it feels so soft, it feels so comfy. It's relatively thick and feels high quality, but because of the construction of the jumpsuit of being so loose and breezy, it doesn't feel heavy. The jumpsuit itself is pretty shapeless, but it does have a seam right about here, just below the chest. The length is like perfect on me. It hits just like where the frame cuts off, like right at my ankle. I'm 5'5 for reference, and this is like the perfect length for me. The jumpsuit itself, like the construction feels really high quality, 
like really well made. And a big thing they stressed on the website was that this brand is meant to be really like fuss free. Like you can just put on the clothing, go about your day, not think about it. And that is pretty much exactly what this jumpsuit feels like to me. It's something that if I was just at home, I would probably be more comfy in this than like my regular pajamas. Or I feel like I could probably belt it or wear like a little jacket or a cardigan with it, some cute boots and dress it up more to wear it out and about. And of course, like I said, it has pockets, which I love. <laughs> now this jumpsuit is meant to be really loose and breezy, but it is a little bit bigger than I expected for a 1X. I feel like if I was gonna buy again, I would size down, but I the 1X works. It's just a little bit big for what I usually like. And the crotch is like, it's really low. It's like a drop crotch. Like, I don't know how well you can see, but it's like a really, it's a really low crotch. So I feel like on a more warm day, I could definitely get some chub rub wearing this. And another potential con, just depending on your preference for fit, you really don't get any waist definition. So I feel like if I was gonna wear this out and about, I would probably style it with a belt. So I'm gonna put a belt on, we'll see how it looks. Okay, this is really cute. This totally works really, really well with a belt. I put the belt right over the seam. There's not really any waist definition, but there is a seam like a little bit below the chest. And it actually works perfectly for my bump right now. And I feel like this could grow a lot and fit all the way through pregnancy. I love that. I love the versatility. Overall, I think this is a great piece, especially if you're looking for something versatile, for something comfy, for something breezy. I'd give this an eight and a half out of 10. I, I really like it and I feel like I'm gonna wear it a lot. Okay, item number two from me, and we have the fleece sweatshirt and the color of this in person is just so rich. Like it's a really cool, pretty orangey yellow. It's not quite like a mustard. It's it's actually kind of like a unique hue. I really like it. And the, the quality and the construction of this feels really nice. Definitely on par with the jumpsuit, if not even a little bit better. It just feels so nice and soft and it even has pockets, which usually I am like all about pockets, but I'm not sure sure if I like 100% love them in this because of these pockets. It has extra fabric here and it makes it a little bit bunchy. I mean, I think I still prefer the pocket because overall it's gonna be more convenient, but I do think in a sweatshirt like this, it, it makes the fabric like lay a little bit weird. I think for this one, the 1X is the perfect size for me. So maybe it's just that one jumpsuit that runs a little bit big because this is definitely, you know, comfy and loose and has some stretch to it, but I wouldn't say it's oversized by any means. The fleece on the inside also feels just really soft and cozy. And I feel like this is gonna be a piece that I love wearing. And so all things considered, I am gonna go ahead and give it a eight out of 10. I think it's really cute. I really like the color. The pockets bunch a little bit weird, but overall a great sweatshirt and probably one of my favorite sweatshirts that I now own. I really like it. Next up, we have Two Days Off, a sustainable line of thoughtful pieces made by Gina Duvall. It was really cool reading through the website all about the brand's mission and the founder, Gina. She's actually a geologist and an earth scientist who focused her work on climate research. And if you don't watch the vlog channel, you might not know this, but I am a big rock nerd. I love rocks. I love geology. <laughs> and actually long ago in my childhood, I, I wanted to grow up and be a geologist and now I ended up in the YouTube fashion world. So I feel like Gina is the person who I want to be. <laughs> like her work and her life just seems so cool. And then she took all that experience and put it into the sustainable and ethical line. So the clothes are made to order in LA in limited edition batches or are made to order. And they come in sizes extra small to extra, extra large. They focus on sustainability and limiting environmental impact and they use dead stock fabrics in LA. Overall, I could really tell that they're all about sustainability in every step of production and also the long-term wear and durability of the items. So I decided to get the Koyoko Siggy pants in wash navy in a double XL. They are here. They are hanging up, ready to be tried on. So let's go put them on. Okay, so I went ahead and cuffed one leg because Personally, that's how I like to style these kind of pants. And then I left the other leg uncuffed to start so you guys could see the length a little bit. I know my camera doesn't go all the way back. I really like these pants. They just feel really like comfy and casual, but they look a little bit more dressy. I feel like you could dress them up, 
or dress them down. And the, the washed navy color is really, really cute in person. Okay, I just looked it up and these are made from a dead stock washed cotton with a little bit of stretch to it. And I can definitely feel that in the pants. I feel like because these have a little bit of stretch to them, they would be so comfy to wear all day, to sit in, to stand in, to walk around in. Also, they have an elastic band in the back, which is one of my favorite things. When I was creating my perfect pants for my merch, I was like, I want an elastic back band because I feel like, especially for women with a bigger tummy, it just, it makes it so comfy to not have this pushing into your stomach when you sit down. I just think these are really nice. The high-waisted fit is nice. It has pockets. The construction feels really high quality and I feel like these are a pair of pants that are gonna last. I have a little bit of room right here in the waist so I feel like I'll probably be able to wear these for another couple months depending on how quick or how slow my body changes in pregnancy but I think they're totally gonna work after pregnancy too. I'm really glad I went with the extra extra large. I was deciding between that and the XL. And I think getting the bigger size just gave me more room to play with. And because of that elastic back band and the stretch to the cotton, I don't think they look too loose by any means now. They're just like a comfy, relaxed fit. I'm trying to think if there are any cons with these ones. I really, I really don't have any cons. They look nice, they feel nice, they're comfy, they're high quality. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a nine and a half out of 10. I think these pants are almost perfect. They don't quite have that like wow factor for a 10, but they're pretty darn close. Our next brand is Kin by Christine. And I actually have tried a few items from this brand before. I first started seeing Kin by Christine just all over my Instagram feed back in June, being spotlighted as a really awesome plus size clothing company that was black owned. And I ordered a skirt then and I loved it. And then back in September, I placed another order and got this yellow blazer. It was this one from that video that I did with Carrie Dayton, if you remember it, where we styled the same clothes. And I was really impressed with both pieces that I got. And I just really love the message behind the brand. And Christine seems like a really awesome, cool business owner. And so I wanted to include them in this video as well, because I think they deserve way more hype. So Kin by Christine was created by Christine Thompson, who got her start as a plus size blogger. She started her brand to design clothes that women could feel confident in, that enhance their curves, and that are timeless. On her website, Christine says, Kin means family, and that is exactly what I want this brand to feel like. Kin is actually an acronym for my family. The K stands for myself, Christine. The I stands for my mother, Iris, and the N stands for my sister, Nicole. I absolutely love that and was super excited to try another piece from this brand. I decided to get the black printed wide leg pants. Flowy pants like this are just my favorite and I wasn't sure what size to get because like I said, body is changing in pregnancy, but I figured a two was a safe bet, which is the equivalent of a 16 to 18. So let's go ahead and try them on. Oh, these are like 10 different kinds of comfy. These are so soft and stretchy. I wasn't totally sure what these pants were gonna be like, what the material was just from the photo on the website. I'm not sure if it noted the fabric in the description. I don't think I looked. <laughs> or if I did, I don't remember, but I'll put a screenshot of the description right here, if it did or if it didn't. But they're made from like a really stretchy, really stretchy, soft, comfy, easy material. And the waistband is super elastic. Like I just feel like these are a very stress-free pair of pants. I think the fit and the sizing is great for me. The only thing is they are a little bit long on me, just a teeny bit. Again, I'm sorry I can't back the camera all the way up, but here is where the length is. That's an easy fix though. I can just hem those up. And then one, one other con, no pockets. It feels like there should be pockets right here and there aren't. But overall, this is just a really great, comfy, cute pair of pants. I feel like I could get away with wearing these as like a more dressy outfit. Like I could dress them up, but they feel like the same comfort level as like pajama pants. <laughs> and they totally work for the bump at this point. And I feel like they'll probably work for most of my pregnancy because the waist here is so elastic and the, the fabric is as well. I feel like these will work for 
almost my entire pregnancy, if not most of it, and definitely now and definitely after, I'm really happy with these pants. These are, these are really great. Also, I feel like because of the comfort level of these pants, I'll probably be reaching for them a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and give this pair of pants a eight and a half out of 10. I feel like they're pretty darn good. Brand number four is Poplinen, an eco-friendly woman-owned company creating premium earth-friendly essentials made in Los Angeles and offered in sizes extra small to 3X. So on their website, it says, we're building a community for all women searching for a better way to purchase sustainable, higher quality styles that look and feel good all while not breaking the bank. They talk about their commitment to sustainability and reducing their carbon footprint and how they use eco-friendly fabrics like organic cotton and linen, modal and tensile, which actually is the fabric that I chose to use on the pants for my merch. I love tensil. It's just super soft and high quality. And through the production process of that merch, I learned a lot about the sustainability of tensile. So I decided to get two pieces. First, the Agnes Raglan organic cotton and tensile sweatshirt. Like I said, I love tensile. Like I wish everything in my closet could be made from tensile. So a sweatshirt made from it sounds amazing. This was $74 and I got it in the color Seamist in a 1X. And then I also got the Norma modal ribbed turtleneck. It was $64 and I got that one in the color Sage in an extra large. Super excited for both these pieces. Pop linen sounds really awesome. Now let's go try them on and see what the clothes are actually like. I had high hopes for the material and the feel of the sweatshirt because of the tensile aspect. And oh my gosh, this even just exceeded my expectations. It feels so nice on. It's somehow like really lightweight, but also feels very cozy and luxurious at the same time. Now I really like the material, the construction of this feels really high quality. I love the color. But there are a few quirks with this sweatshirt. First of all, I would say it fits a little smaller than I expect for a 1X. I think it looks fine. It's it's a good size for me, but honestly, if I was gonna buy again, I would probably size up. Just because A, if I pull this down, you can really see it. I don't have that much room here. And when I kind of scrunch it up like this, it looks fine. But I, I usually do like a little bit more of an oversized fit with sweatshirts and sweaters. Also a problem I have really never had is the sleeves are a little bit short on me. Like not crazy short or anything, but even when I pull them down, like it just, it. see when I raise my hands, can you see that? They're just like a little bit short. So maybe I would just kind of wear them scrunched up like this. If you're someone who is petite, this is probably like the perfect sweatshirt for you. But if you like things a little bit looser, a little bit more oversized, I would size up. Overall, I think Pop Linen killed it with this. It is so soft. I am so excited to wear this. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10, all things considered. Okay, second piece from Pop Linen. This one I actually got in an extra large, but it almost fits a little bit bigger than I would expect. It's meant to be fitted, it's meant to be ribbed, but I definitely have a little bit of room to play with. And the sleeves are long. So maybe it's just that one sweatshirt was manufactured a little bit different with different proportions. But this one is not made from tensile, it's made from modal. And still, it feels heavenly. It feels so soft. It, I, I guess I like modal as much as I like tensile. <laughs> like seriously, both of these two pop linen pieces are probably some of the softest things I own. It's, it's comfy. It's lightweight. It feels well constructed. Now, right now I am just wearing it with some leggings, but I'm actually going to put this on with the pants from two days off because I feel like that be a really cute look. And also that's probably the way I would style this is tucked into a pair of high-waisted pants. So let's do that. Now this is a freaking cute winter outfit. I love these together. This looks so cute. Because the material of this turtleneck is so thin, it, it tucks really nicely into pants like this. I feel like sometimes when I try to tuck in shirts, they bunch up weird in the pants. And these ones are just like a nice, smooth, even, consistent, tuck. I really, really like this top. Also, this olive green color is so pretty. I really, really love it. It works for fall. It works for the holidays. I feel like it even works for spring. My only real complaint with this top is the sleeves being too long. Because this top is ribbed and fitted and has like that really nice, smooth, even silhouette. When I adjust the sleeves to not be so long, then I have like the wrinkling up the arm. And I feel like it makes the outfit look not as put together, not as fitted to me. But that's really the only issue, other than that, this is like the perfect 
turtleneck. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10. I think this is a really great piece and I wanna wear this tomorrow together. Our next underhype brand is called Sotella. And when I read their About Us on the website, I was like, this brand sounds so cool and has exactly the practices and ideals that I wanna be voting for and supporting with my dollar. So on their website, it says, the heart of Sotella is to restore your relationship with clothing and to celebrate the strength and resilience of your body. Our mission, an inclusive clothing brand and community that celebrates humans in all their forms. They also talk about their commitment to being an ethically made brand without sweatshop labor, using eco-friendly fabrics, and how body positivity and inclusivity is a driving force for everything they do. The founder and designer of Sotella, Hannah, talks about how she started the brand after dreaming of an ethical clothing line that could fit her changing body. Sotella comes from the Spanish word tela, which means fabric. Spanish is my first language, and I wanted to tie my heritage into our name. The so comes from so and combined so fabric speaks into our handmade ethical design process. Really, really awesome. And I am super excited to give Sotella a try. So I decided to get this matching set of the papaya short and the pomelo button up. I figured this is something that I can wear together as a set, but also individually. And I know this is like a summer outfit and it's practically Christmas at this point, but I placed the orders for this video a few months ago and they hadn't released their fall winter collection yet, which now that I'm actually filming this, they have. So I'll put a little screen recording from the website so you can see the fall winter pieces that are available now. They're still selling the summer pieces though. Like this outfit that I'm gonna try is still available to purchase on the website. But anyways, I live in San Diego where it's basically summer light, even in the winter months. So I'll still get to wear this. Plus I think this will be a really great post-pregnancy outfit outfit this summer. So they do their sizing by measurement in non-traditional sizing numbers going from zero to 10 that are the equivalent of a size zero to 30 US. And looking at their sizing chart based on my measurements, I'd be a size five. And I did get the top in a five, but I decided to size up to the six in the bottoms cause you know, four months pregnant. And then also by the time I'm getting a lot of wear out of this next summer, I'm sure my body will have changed from pregnancy. So I'll err on the looser side. And I will say when I saw the price, I there was a little bit of a, a little sharp intake of breath. This is a more expensive outfit. And when you're buying ethically sustainably produced clothing, that always is gonna come with a higher price tag. But this outfit specifically was the most expensive one of the video with the top being $179 and the bottom being $139. And I know that is not the most accessible price. And I try to feature brands on like both sides of the price scale, but with this video being really focused on ethical and sustainable brands, especially those prices do tend to be high and it can be really hard to find budget friendly, ethical and sustainable brands. So if you know of any, leave them down in the comments. I would love to try and do an entire video on ethical, sustainable brands that are budget friendly, that are at like the lower end of the ethical, sustainable price range. Obviously, if you're comparing clothes like this to a $5 H&M top, it's gonna seem even more ridiculous, but you have to keep in mind the reason these prices are so high a lot of the time is the people making the garment are being paid a fair wage. They're using more expensive, eco-friendly fabrics. There's a lot that goes into ethical and sustainable production, but all that being said, let's go ahead and try on this outfit. Okay, so I just put on the two pieces and I feel like without any styling, like in the photo, they had the shirt tied up. I feel like without styling like that and because of the striped print, it kind of looks like a pajama set like this, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like immediately on and now I'm gonna go ahead and style it a little bit. Okay, so here it is with the shirt tied up and I feel like this now styled gives me like North Carolina pier beach vibes, like almost something Allie in the notebook would wear. <laughs> I feel like rolling up to the beach in this in the summer is like such a cute and unique look. We'll start with the pros, the positives. I feel like the shirt is honestly kind of perfect. The size is great. It ties up really easily like this. I think 
think it looks cute with the bottoms, but would also be something that I would wear a lot with just like cutoffs or a denim skirt. The shorts, I, I think I should have followed the size chart and got them one size smaller in a size five. I hate when I try to outsmart the size chart and I just fail. I should have just listened. But the six still works. They're still really comfy. They're just a little bit looser than I would normally go. The elastic waist is super comfy and I totally see how these items are meant to, to grow and change with your body. Also, the shorts have pockets, which we know I love. I'm pretty sure it said this was made from linen. It feels like linen and it's just so light and easy and breezy. And then now to the cons, like I said, my fault, but I should have gotten the shorts one size smaller. I feel like the striped pattern in this kind of set does make it look a little bit pajama-y even when I have it tied up. This set did come in different colors. So I feel like I would like it even more in like, I think they had a green and like a, a mustard yellow. And that's really it. Both of the cons are pretty just subjective, but I think these pieces are built really well. They feel really nice. The material is great. I'm gonna give the top a nine out of 10. I feel like I am gonna wear this a lot. And then the shorts, I am gonna give a seven out of 10. Just for me, it is pretty subjective, but I feel like I won't wear these as much and the fit just isn't quite as perfect as the top. This was so much fun. Let me know down in the comments, what are your favorite underhyped brands? And especially if you have any favorite underhyped brands that are budget friendly, please, please, please leave those down in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram. I would love to be able to highlight some more brands like this that are budget friendly and at a more attainable price point. That was one of the things that was really difficult for me to balance in creating my merch is I wanted to make sure that something I'm creating at like a bulk amount and something that I'm selling to you guys isn't harming the people who are making the garment, isn't harming the environment. And that drives the price up. You know, I, I wish I could have sold my Confident and Kind Perfect pants for $20, but with sustainable and ethical production, that just drives up the price so much more. And I feel like because of that, because I went through that production process of not compromising on the ethicality and the sustainability. I understand these brands and, and you know what they went through to, to figure out their price point. But I know if you're on a budget and you're trying to shop more sustainably and ethically, it can be so frustrating. So if you know of any lower price or mid priced sustainable brands, let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body. And I will see you on Tuesday actually, not Friday this time with a bonus video. Two videos next week. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye.